in this question, we're given some signal, x of t, and it's represented using its Fourier coefficients, and we're asked for the power of the ninth harmonic. The power of the ninth harmonic. So once we find the amplitude of the ninth harmonic, which is going to be a9, so once we find the amplitude of the nth harmonic, we simply find that squared divided by 2. So that's the power of the ninth harmonic. Now, the fact that 9 is an odd number and this is an even function is irrelevant. It doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter whether this number is even or odd. That doesn't matter at all. The only thing that matters is... Well, the only thing that matters when calculating the power will be the amplitude. And the only thing that determines the amplitude is this expression. So just to make it really clear, if you have an odd signal, then all the an terms are zero. If you have an even signal, then all the bn terms are zero. That doesn't mean the bn terms where n is even or n is odd. It doesn't mean n has to be even or odd. No, it means all, all a n and all b n for n even and odd, and odd. So don't confuse that with what we're trying to do here. So the answer to this question, you'd simply have to find a9. And a9 is that, 2 over n squared. So the answer would be half times 2 over 9 squared squared. Calculate that to four decimal places, and there's your answer.